Hi, I'm Glenn, City of Atta Fishing Field Team, COA of Field Team. Today's June 14th, Sunday. And well, plan was uh, knocking out a few chores, being uh, some sprinklers that we had um, to fix in the lawn. And well, one became two, became three, but well, we got them done. But before we had to do that, we made a, did a little quick run to Brockdale Park over there at Lake Levon and tried doing some surf casting with the surf with the uh, rod mash rod and a 12 foot. Uh, or correction, a Battle II uh, reel, and uh, unfortunately didn't get anything. Uh, but no worries, we've got the uh, Akuma Rockaway uh, rod coming in, uh, hopefully during this uh, upcoming week, along with a Fluger President rod. Presidente? President rod. Uh, we're going to try pairing them up and see if we have ourselves a little surf casting rig uh, we can take over to uh, maybe Denison Dam and do some long distance casting with a jig and fluke uh, rig under a float. Uh, so that said, uh, we struck out this morning. Got a little video here and there, get a little stretch out before we actually knocked out the uh, work in the lawn and got that done now. So uh, we finished and now, well, what are we going to do? Well, let's do some fishing things. So pulled out the micro fly rod right here. This is the two-piece one that we made from an old eight-weight where it broke and uh, made a little adjustment to the leader. Uh, we were using a Dacron back, uh, backing leader as a line indicator, but we went ahead and put some 50-pound mono uh, that we use for shark fishing uh, on the beach and put a little section there and then added a little 14-pound um, section and then followed by a 14 or a 4-pound section and made some... Uh, uh, scuds and we'll probably go run the celebration here and just get a little stretch or two see how the uh, fish are doing over there uh, maybe some sunfish maybe some bluegill maybe just the right size for some maybe some bait uh, for a run up to Denison I'm not sure if we can keep those ones there but I know there's a couple of places that we definitely can keep sunfish and bluegill that we catch in a feeder creek uh, but we do have the micro fly rod I also made a few uh, flies right here right here and just a little mini Altoids box that we use for micro fishing so we got a uh, it looks like a, a pheasant tail nymph it looks like two scuds and then this little small pink midge and so we'll have that at the handy and again what we made the uh, uh, the uh, leader for that was a 14 pound butt section along with a four pound uh, tippet and then uh, uh, for the line indicator, strike line indicator, some 50 pound motto. All right, so uh, um, we'll make that run over to celebration and hopefully get some video and do check it out on the micro fly rod, two piece micro fly rod. All right. Okay, so uh, the reason why I couldn't uh, do a full day fishing was well, we had to fix these sprinklers. So look at this sprinkler. This one's pretty deep. This was started out with one, turns out it's three. So I uh, had to do three of these babies, but pretty deep, but it's done now. So we can go back to fishing. Okay, so we're here at Celebration. We're at the North Pond, a little windy, but the uh, little micro fly rod should be able to handle it, or we'll just have to adjust for the wind. All right, let's go for it. Here we go, micro fly rod. We added a little tape here, along with that adjustment to the uh, leader. And I'm just kind of, moseying our way through the woods it's nice and cool here but it's about 90 degrees in the sun so we'll uh, get ready to do a little fishing okay so here is a little scud size 16 and we're just gonna work the fly over here just need to get it to sink a little oh there's a hit wow that one I wanted it Look like a little sunfishy. Oh yeah, sunfish. Perfect. All right, first one of the day, sunfish. Okay, well, let's just get a cast in. You can see that you can get a pretty decent cast with uh, this little rod. It's about just a little under two feet, I think, or maybe two foot long. A little line holder thing we already got it to the backing and we're just gonna work the fly let it sink a little 
Here he comes. Got him. <laughs> oh, wow. Ooh, he's putting a bend in the rod. Yeah. Yeah, baby, yeah. All right, let's do it again. Little flip flop right there by the little lily pad looking things. Or weeds. Just gonna let it sink really slow. Oh, something swiped it. We saw the pickup. Let's try it again. Let's get it out of there. Let's let it sink really slow. That line indicator, uh, maybe with that 50 pound mono is easily seen. There's a hit. Oh, missed them. Let's try it again. Definitely stands out. Much better than the the uh, braided backing one. This one actually seems to work pretty good. All right, got ourselves a little blue gale. That scud is working really nice. It's that uh, fly that you use a dubbing loop and it's real easy to tie. Probably a good fly to tie if you're just starting. Check out that video, it's easy. All right, let's just kind of work the edges here. A lot of times we'll see the uh, bluegill sunfish kind of hovering right along the wall. There's a little wall, there's a little concrete thing on the bottom and then it drops here and they're kind of hanging at that little edge. There he goes, little guy. Saw a hesitation in the line. All right, there it is. Perfect bait, what do you say? <laughs> Here's that scud, and it's got a little hard back right here. Would we'll use that UV glue and kind of keeps the shape. And I don't know, fish like them. Got a squirrel over here. No, nope, running off. There's a hit. Got him. All right. Sunfishy again. Let's go over there. Let's work that one point and see if we can get something to hit over there. Well, got a hit right here. Before we go, let's see if that uh, little guy will hit again. Yeah, he's right here. There he goes. See him? He's coming up and taking it. There he goes. <laughs> Very shallow water. They're coming up and taking it. All right. Take a look at the little point here. This little clear area that we can give it a try. Maybe we'll get something to hit over here. Who knows? There's one, just kind of came up, took it. Honest good, size 16. Okay, we're getting hit. Getting sidetracked, because I think there's ants crawling up my legs. There's one, all right, there we go. Yeah, all right, here we go. Blue golly. Okay, let's do it again. I think what's happening is, is there's a, I think there's a bed of them or some nest. And we're just kind of dragging it through. There's a hit. Oh. <laughs> that was fast. Let's try it again. We just see the flash as it, they swipe it and then we miss them. <laughs> there's a hit. There we go. That one got it. That one's staying on. Yeah, baby, yeah. Microfly rod and a scud. We can see the fly just under the surface, so about maybe a few inches, and then we'll see a, a fish take it. And so we'll set the hook, and sure enough, we'll either miss them or get them. In this case, we got them. Let's go walk this way. Maybe we'll try another spot in the pond. See some vegetation here. It looks very fishy.
There's a hit. All right, that one hit. Took it and then kind of lagged back a little. Sunfish. There the hit. Another hit. There he goes. Got him. Got him. Sunfishy. Alright, let's just kind of walk a little bit further down. See if we can spy some. Oh, a big hit. I think I see a, a bed of them here. Oh, I lost them. Now there's a bed of them here. And they're hitting quick. As soon as it hits the water. <laughs> they are aggressive. Piranha-like almost. <laughs> let's see. Try it again. As soon as it hits the water, we're getting a hit right there. Wow. <laughs> These guys are aggressive. All right. Let's go put this guy back. He fell. All righty. Let's get you back in the water. There you go. Okay, so as soon as you get it to this one little opening, you get a hit. Bam, there it is. Wow. No hesitation. It's like they're they're ready to strike. Let's do it again. Bam. <laughs> okay. Well, these guys want to play. Let's throw him back. And let's go do it again. All right, so as soon as it hits the water, let's see how long it takes. Boom. Bang. <laughs> oh, I lost them. All right, let's do it again. Boom. Oh, a little hesitation. Oh, there, that's a nice one. Ah, oh, lost it. That was a blue... I think that was a bluegill. Let's see if we can get that guy. Yeah, he took our fly. Luckily, we have uh, at least another two of these... Uh, scuds so let's give that a let's give this one a try this one's fresh still we just tied it tied that one with a clinch knot so we're going to do an improved clinch knot just for safety's sake because uh well we thought we would hold <clears throat> but it didn't so improved clinch knot let's give this one a shot all right this is where we get an immediate hit well, maybe not this time. Maybe we scared them. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. Maybe that's the one that took our fly and we can get him back. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, he's a little bit bigger. Now, the one that took our fly had an orange body or orange kind of look to it. So, he's bigger than the other ones. Okay, let's see if we can get it out there. Ah, I, we're getting bit by ants. Dang it. There's something biting me. There's the hit. Little guy. Alright, so we lost our fly to a nice one, but we got these other guys to hit. I think we're going to go walk the pond a little bit more. Not sure what's biting us. I think it's some kind of... It's not chiggers. It's, I think it's little ants. I was just uh, a little bit down the pond. Uh, let's see if we can get something to hit over here in this opening. No, let's go walk the pond some more. All right, uh, we'll be casting into the wind, so hopefully we can still get them here. Oh yeah, still get out there. Nope. Try over here. No. Alright, give you an idea how far it's casting. We got the wind that's crossing from our left to right. And we're standing at this spot. And we'll just kind of cast it and see how far we can get it. 
Let's just get it a little bit out some more and see if we can take advantage of this right there. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven, uh, twelve. All right, so twelve, twelve yards maybe. <laughs> All right, it's enough to get us fish. We we'll just keep working our way along. It seems like the uh, other side seemed to be better for uh, those little fish. Let's go over here. Get in the shade here. And we'll cast over here along the shadowy area and see if we get something to hit. Very light hit, huh? All right, let's go back this way. Let's see if uh, this place produces. Normally we see a lot of food get thrown in the water here and the, the uh, fish are standing by for uh, a tidbit or two since it's near the picnic area. So let's just see if we can get one to hit maybe. Just keep walking some more. Try right here. We had some little hits here earlier. There's a hit. Oh, that's a little guy. It's like a little fingerling. Another fingerling. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> this definitely counts as a micro fly rod, micro fish catch. There, I think he's. It's not very big. All right. It's just sinking really slow. There's the hit. Oh, missed him. Well, that one came up and hit it. These. <laughs> that one came up and hit it. All right. Cool beans. All right. Let's try it again. Just let it sink. I'll watch for him come up and get it. I don't see it anymore, so now we're just watching the line. Twitch it. Twitch it. Twitch it. Nope. It's back there again. There's a hit. Saw him take it this time. Swiped it. Alright. Try this again here. Just let it sink slowly. Alright, nothing. Kind of drag it slowly. There's a hit. All right. He hit it. All right. Go cool beans. Let's see if they're by the wall. We'll just let it sink. Oh, there's a hit. Well, they are by the wall. Let's try it again. There's a hit. Saw the line hesitate. Didn't see the take, but the line hesitated, so we set the hook. Let's try this side of the wall again. It's further down. There's the hit. Saw the line move, so we set the hook. This one's a sunfish. I uh, like coming out to these little ponds because... Uh, it definitely boosts your level of confidence when uh, <laughs> when you're able to get these guys. Uh, at least you're not striking out. All right, let's see what we go here. Let's try another one. Let's see. There's the hit. Oh man, he came up out of nowhere. All right, cool beans.
All right, so that's a quick demo on the uh, capability of this little two-foot micro fly rod. It's the uh, upper section of an eight-foot uh, fly rod that we had. And all we're doing is casting it to where the fish are without issue. Don't feel undergun with this one, especially with these guys. Let's see if we can get one more before we got to call it quits. There we go. <laughs> that was fun. Well, maybe one more. All right, we're just watching the line. Oh, he took it again. Saw that line move. Maybe I'll hit it again here. There he goes. Barely moved, but we saw it. So, it's good stuff, man. Uh, let's catch one more. All right. One more. Then we'll call it quits. Got him. All right, got him that time. Okay, this will... Ah, uh, lost him. Shoot. Well, let's keep going. Got to get the last fish, you know. Right there. Played with it. Still playing with it. There he goes. Little guy. <laughs> All right. We're going to call it quits. Oh, man. Well, that one fell out before we got a good view of it. So we're going to catch one more. Good excuse to catch one more. There he goes. Okay. This is the last one. Right there. All right. Fun stuff on the micro fly rod. Okay. Here's the view of the rod when it's broken down. So two piece upper section of an old eight weight fly rod that we broke repurposed to be a micro fly rod mm -hmm. 